My love, there's something I need to confess. What is it, dear? I have been unfaithful. How could you, woman? Seventeen years of marriage, four children and this is what you do to me? You cheat on me? Foolish? How can you stoop so low? You are the one who always tells me to keep off women. Out of respect, I keep females at a distance. And you, on the other hand, do this? Who is it? Who have you been unfaithful with? Give me his phone number. He will know today who I am. Show me his number. Show me his face. Filthy animal who is snatching my wife. He is the one here with me. He is the man beside me now. This is the man I have been unfaithful with. Me? Are you okay? What are you saying? Yes, I have been unfaithful with you. I have been unfaithful to God, because I have been so busy loving you. In my effort to try being a good wife, I have forgotten God. When you met me, I was so devoted to God. In fact, you used to tell me that the most important reason you chose me as your wife was because of my devotion to God. I loved the godly man you used to be. We would pray and long to have a godly family together. I remember the days I would fast and pray and tell God that if He blesses me with a good job, I will dedicate my career to Him. God did bless me, God blessed you, God blessed us. We did so well professionally, we got good money, we could afford a good wedding. We got married. The first few months of our marriage, we would pray as a family, go to church, have fellowships, worship and do Bible study. But slowly, we stopped living by that scripture that says as for me and my household we will serve the Lord. We started having children who we failed to raise in the godly way. With success, we changed our friends. We found the born again friends boring. We started worshipping money, success and materials. Look at us now, we live in a big house but God is absent. You started taking me to ungodly places to have fun. We started drinking too much, our children ashamed by our drinking. In order to please you, I changed too, thinking that being a good wife means tagging along with everything you do. I didn't confront you when you started going astray, I didn't pull you back to God, I got lost with you. So lost, that I started becoming proud, shallow, self-centered, all along thinking I am being a good wife. But this is not me. I have changed so much from the woman you found me. We both have changed much. All these. The good house, the good food we eat, the money we have, the comfortable life. They have made us forget the God who gave them to us. I am nothing without God and I feel ashamed that I have abandoned the God responsible for all I am and have. We have started having troubles in our marriage. Because the Lord is no longer building our love, we are doing it on our own and we will fail if we keep on like this. I want to go back to the woman I used to be. A woman after God's own heart. I miss the peace that God gives, I miss worship, I miss reading the word, I miss going to church and fellowship, I miss meditating, I miss praying with you. What does it profit me to gain a good marriage yet lose my soul? My God? I am going back to God. Only as a wife submitted to God, will I be the best wife to you and the best mother to our children. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God, but I cannot bring favor to you if I continue being disconnected from God. I want my spiritual life back. I want God back in our home, our marriage, our family. I am sorry. I am sorry for going astray and taking you with me. You chose to marry me because you thought you were marrying a godly man. I miss being that godly man. Marriage shouldn't be a stumbling block in our walk with God. The thought of you cheating on me ripped my heart apart, I cannot even begin to imagine how God feels when we are unfaithful to Him. 
God having blessed us this much, and we turn our backs on Him. At the thought of you cheating on me I was filled with rage, yet God patiently looks at us in our unfaithfulness desiring us to go back to Him. I want to go back too. I want more in my life than these earthly things, I want God. I want the God of my youth. I am so sorry for slapping you. Please forgive me. This night, we must pray together like in those days. And after which we stay together like in those days. That night, they knelt down and repented, rededicated their lives and marriage to God. The prodigal couple came back to God. The next morning, they prayed together with their children. God returned to that home, because that couple returned to God. Will you return to God? If you are inspired, please share to inspire others. Produced by, Jesus Reigns Production Team. For contact, 0703802423. To God be the glory.